Goose Creek and my kids behind the camera today, Glenn's in Florida. We're bending figured babinga. Now when I do figured babinga, I'm going to use Windex. The ammonia helps to soften the cell. I have it marked, so I make sure that I have right and left and the outside that I want. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And you see, I'm not soaking this. It's not saturated. Now I put another shot on here. Put the slat and the blanket. So, slat, wet paper, wood, wet paper, slat, blanket. Okay, we're getting ready to bend in the blank in the machine now. This here has a little mark at 12 inches. That way I know where this end goes. Hold down. Waste for friendly friction. Thermometer, top slat under blanket. Then I put, I'm just using that for a spacer. Then I put the springs on, I set this up, plug it in, and I am putting approximately a three pound weight on each end. And then I'm going to set it to full, hit the timer, and I'm going to bend. Okay, now while the temperature is coming up, the weights are going to keep the heating blanket, it keeps everything in contact. Um, if Sean shows a picture of the floor, nine times out of ten, they'll slip and hit the floor. I'll know the wood's ready to bend. So when you're dealing with figured woods, uh, a little bit of weight on there will definitely help you in the long term. All right, this has been in the bender. The temperature is coming up. I'm at 220 degrees. I can you can you can see how that's that weight's letting that work down. Now when I go to move this down, I just don't slam it. You want to take your time with it. I'm at 234, 235 degrees. I'm just going to give the waist a couple of flicks. I'm at 240. Now I come up here, and you can see that that's moving pretty good. So I'm just going to help bend this a little bit, and I can feel. It wants to go. It's not a big deal. All time total took me about three and a half, four minutes to get up the temperature. I did check to make sure everything was damp. And there we go. I can feel it's bending wonderfully. Okay, that's all bent. And now we're going to let it go to the heat cycle to 325 and then cool down. Well, here we are again. Uh, yesterday I was bending the figured Babinga. Uh, today I took it out of the bender and here we are. You can see it came out nice. Very little uh, cupping. All I can tell you is that when you go to bend figured woods, it's all about the duration of heat, the temperature that you are using, and your bending method. So as long as you have the weight to help maintain the contact of the blanket with the slat and the wood, and you go through the bending process as you should, you can expect a reasonable result. Uh, waterfall babinga is usually one of the more difficult ones to actually get to bend and bend well. And you can see just my good old fashioned bending machine I did use Windex, and there you go. I shop to yours.